uh, hope you all doing well and I'm just gonna show you some quick updates on a source of metrics project and there's two things to show so I'll start with uh, the first one and that is we we have added two new options to CLI and we can check You can run. You can run the help command. No. Heck. Yes. So <clears throat> we have added um uh e option or long version is entities, and what that means essentially is that now you can specify which entities will be analyzed during the analysis. So currently we support the analysis of pull request issue and uh, content file entity. That, that is in our perception what entity means, anything you can uh, analyze in GitHub repository. And if nothing, in spe nothing is specified, the all available entities will be used in analysis. We can try that. Okay. Uh, we can try that just for a proof of concept that it works. So, oh, sorry. So yeah, we have specified that we only want to analyze issue and only issues should be analyzed. As you can see here, uh, I actually have storage, I, I actually have knowledge stored before, uh, before, the, before this launch, so there's nothing new to update, so uh, issues were not updated. And <clears throat> the second option, that uh, is available is a uh, dash p option uh, or process knowledge and it means that you want to store process knowledge uh, the short explanation is that uh, we have three main stages in source of metrics project we have the analysis or extract knowledge stage we have a process knowledge stage and we have visualization stage and in, in analysis stage, we, we analyze the entities and we store the desired features from that entity. So for example, from pull request, you can decide that you only want to analyze the pull request author. Uh, you store that, so you would have all the pull requests with their uh, respectful authors. And the second stage is processing. In processing, you the processing is used in visualization so in processing you, you can decide that okay i want to aggregate this data and and uh, see how many pull requests ha has have had each author created in repository so for every uh contributor in repository you aggregate number of pull requests that he has created so this is kind of processing the knowledge we have stored before and this knowledge and this process knowledge is then used in visualization uh, in in uh, in a graph. And uh, the P option means that when you when you that is a flag, and when you when you uh, when the flag is present in CLI call, it means that you want to you 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 want to explicitly. Uh, uh regenerate the process knowledge because the pro the process knowledge cannot be updated it has to be like the old one has to be deleted and the new one has to be created if, if we have new entities analysis and uh that is that is the the second thing i wanted to show you uh which is the processing and how it is done right now so 
we have a processing class and in the processing class that uh, uh, there are uh, the processing methods that or visualization calls. So for every graph, you call some process method so that you can visualize uh, something. And the processing methods use the uh, process knowledge decorator. And that is mostly useful for, for contributors in project. And that means that whenever, whenever the process method is called so for example whenever the process issues closed by peer size is called it the 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 source ops metrics will first look if you have stored process knowledge before and if you have it will return that process knowledge if you don't have a process knowledge available for for this for for this method uh it will create one so uh we can try that we can we can write some simple function that will just for now return some some dictionary yeah so and uh the process knowledge is stored in in uh, in uh processed pre in a pre-processed uh, directory. Actually, it will be rena renamed to process because pre-processing is some, something different. So let's just assume it is now stored in pre-processed directory and it is stored respectfully to the repository name and uh, the organization the repository is in. So we have inspected performance and I have something here done before, some pr process storage stored before. So I can remove that just to see that it works. Uh, oh, sorry, cannot see anything. <clears throat> yeah. And we will leave this here. And uh, how it works, you 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 call the p option, and the and 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 the pipeline of creating a knowledge and storing a pre-processed knowledge will be launched. So you can see that uh, for every uh, process method, there exists a, a file, a JSON file with stored aggregated knowledge. And the reason behind that is, is that um, whenever we want to access the pre-processed, the process knowledge, so for example, you want to, you want to visualize anything twice. Let's say you, 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 you close the visualization and you, you want to launch it again because you have, you have like one week report and you, you don't want to run processing each time you access the visualizations. So that is the reason we store the process information. And you can see that uh, for every process method, the it it it, it try to to load to load to to look into the process uh, directory if there is something. If not, it it uh, it it runs the uh, the respectful method. And right now, uh, you can, if you are a contributor, you 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 can, and you want to add some pr pro process method, you just uh, decorate it with the process knowledge. And currently, um, it is it is done by uh, referencing it in in regenerate method of a processing class. But that it will probably change because it's not so handy. Um, so we can try to launch this. And we, we have we have all the process knowledge stored before from the functions, and right now only only the only the foo should be uh processed and stored. So yeah, we can see that uh 
we we found for each method the the process knowledge we stored before and only only foo was actually uh not anything fine for for foo so so we processed and store it on the pre-processed directory so we can peek into that and see that it's it, it is actually there so yes and <clears throat> That, that is that is about the processing uh, processing stage, and another thing last I wanted to show is uh, that we also added uh, uh, updates to a readme. So if so, if you want to add entity, that would be reasonable to anal analyze. Uh, that would tell us anything uh, so something important about the health status of the project. Uh, there are acceptance cr criteria your implementation should meet, and and you can th then make a pull request, and it would it would be functional. So, yeah, feel free to give any feedback, and that's that's all. Any any questions? If if not, then uh, see you next time. <laughs>